and my name's Gabe Zolna. This is the 9th of February 2019. Article posted by HuffPost on the 9th of February. Fox News Chris Wallace rips Republicans outraged by Democratic investigation. Quote, it's not like Republicans sat on their hands when Barack Obama was president. Chris Wallace is a registered left-wing, whacked-out Democrat, if you haven't noticed. Fox News' Chris Wallace has knocked Republicans double standard over House investigation into the Trump White House. How about the double standards on the investigation of the governor and the lieutenant governor of Virginia, huh? When they took apart President Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court, huh? How about that investigation? Wallace said on Friday's broadcast about number that he found it kind of rich that Republicans are so outraged that they would be this kind of a hearing of the other party's president and administration. It came during an analysis of acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker's testimony before the House Judiciary Committee. These committees are all absolute jokes. They got nothing but jackasses on them. You know, it's not like Republicans sat on their hands when Barack Obama was president, Wallace said. They investigated Benghazi. Really? And when Hillary was on the stand? And when the congressman out of Ohio, Jim Jordan, said, you lied, you knew that that had nothing to do with the event that took place, that video. You spoke with the senior representative in Egypt the next day, and you told him you knew. You also told your daughter, but what did they do? Huh? Jim Jordan didn't pursue the questioning, which I would have and he should have. They investigated Fast and Furious. Now that's the investigation where Barack Hussein Obama exerted executive privilege and shut it down when they were getting close to nailing the Attorney General at that time. Eric H. Holder Jr., absolute joke. They investigated the IRS, and that's when Lois Lerner pleaded the fifth absolute joke. And you know, look, those were all legitimate issues to investigate. Sometimes they found something, sometimes they didn't find things. Well, I just told you why they didn't find things on Fast and Furious. There's no doubt that that was an operation run by Barack Hussein and that dirtbag attorney Eric H. Holder Jr. I posted videos of the young Eric Holder Jr. when he said we need to brainwash the American people about guns. You can go do that search yourself. Wallace noted how it was all part of oversight. Quote, when Republicans are have oversight of a branch of Congress or House of Congress and they're investigating a Democratic president, they're going to make life difficult for them. And now the Democrats are in control of the House and have the control of these committees, he said. That's the way it works. Well, actually, it doesn't work. Who have you got heading it up, huh? You got Maxine Waters? And Elijah Cummings? How long has Elijah Cummings been a congressman? 30 years? You think he's Deadwood, huh? Come on, it's a joke! The whole thing's a joke. That's Chris... Walsh, he's a joke. Have you ever seen anyone as ugly or untalented as he is? No? If it wasn't for his papa, he'd be flipping pizzas. Guy's a complete jackass. Chris Walsh, Fox News, anchored. Absolute joke. Yeah, Benghazi. That was really investigated, wasn't it? Huh? They were running fucking guns to the insurgents. The Clintons with Obama were running guns. Fast and Furious? When that failed, they went ahead and they did the Sandy Hook. They haven't stopped going after our guns. 
absolute joke. The IRS investigation. Lois Lerner's getting a hundred thousand dollars a year pension. Screw the American people. And what's Trump doing about these investigations? Nothing. Just totally pisses me off. Wake up, America. You're dealing with a criminal, corrupt government. And this Chris Wallace, a bag of leftist shit. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. Watch the video. Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy of this to that burnt out Chris Wallace. Fox News anchor.